welcome back this is abhishek and in this video i'm going to show you how you can dual boot pop os with windows 10 or 11 so let's get started so first of all we'll need to visit this website and from here we will download the latest pop os version click on the download button and download the latest version it's for 64 bit The download should start shortly. So the ISO file is downloading. Open the search bar and search for partition and then open up this program. I already have a 20 GB uh, partition made to install this OS and uh, you, you also need to make sure you create an, another additional 500 MB partition um, it's always good because you need to create sometimes more than one partition during installation so make sure you have an additional partition made then you need to boot into our BIOS and make sure that you're um, in the boot options if you go to your configuration and then boot options you need to disable your secure boot otherwise dual boot uh, doesn't work so keep it disabled and then save and exit Now that the ISO file has been downloaded, we will move it to the pen drive. Um, this is not an like it should be above 8 GB, and the pen drive should be uh, like an Ventura software should be installed on it. I'll put a link and how to do it. It makes flashing all these different OSs very easy. So just copy and paste, and it just works. You do not need to create a separate for like a bootable pen drive every time. So I'll just copy it to the drive. Now we need to boot into our BIOS. So I'm gonna restart. And then go to boot device options. And select my pen drive. And I will select pop OS to begin the installation. It will boot into the pop OS soon and you will see the home screen. So the installation is done and now there it is the home screen of pop OS. You can give it a try or you can just click on that icon to start the installation process. Select your language. Keyboard layout and stuff. We need to click on custom install so we can install it in dual boot. And now we need to select our partition that we have made. So just find out the by the size. Mine was about 21 GB. So this one, the second last one is my partition. And then just select use this partition. Just enable the toggle and set this one as just root as it is by default. But you can see right now it's not uh, like giving us the option to install. We need to also create a additional boot partition. So I'm gonna use our 500 MB partition that we made and use it as boot. 
and now we can go ahead and install this select a username then uh, create a password and the installation will begin and will take um, some time so you need to wait So you can see the installation has begun and after installation it might not boot into popos so you need to manually go to your bios menu like this and uh, in this boot device option we need to select the popos boot manager and then from here we can boot into popos so remember this step if for some reason it does not boot into popos after installation and you will be like prompted this login screen and you can log in into your purpose easily so it asked for my password and after some time the purpose home screen has showed up so this is purpose it's giving you some welcome tour so you can see the steps and uh, follow along I'm gonna skip through all this and try to install OBS studio so I can give you a better look of how the pop OS is you can also connect it to Wi-Fi and select your time zone gonna go for my India and it's done so this is the setup process and I'll see you after I've installed some of the um, like OP studio and stuff it looks very similar to other Linux um, see you in a bit so now I've installed OBS and it has been a smooth ride um, just installed it from the terminal and this is the and the store and this is amazing they have a, a plethora of uh, options and a lot of programs to download you can see steam and visual code for programmers and telegram spotify and everything so the store is pretty huge and good to see so i can see that is why so much popular you can see the obs studio um, i've installed it through terminal but you can install it from here as well and it looks quite amazing this is the terminal you can uh, like update the binaries and repositories from here just run this command and password and it will work it's a pretty smooth experience uh, no bugs and everything that I faced and uh, like generally um, mine is a pretty old processor and do not have a dedicated graphics card so some bugs is there um, in most this one is pretty uh, like pretty smooth so far so connected to an ethernet wired and it is working as well and right now i think it's in the dark mode by default this is the desktop you can customize how you want the dock to look yeah right now it's in dark mode you can go to light mode This is the dock options. You have your sound options. The battery is pretty similar to other Linux distributions, um, but the support is pretty good and also it's very fluid and smooth. You can see about the device and the processor information and so from here it checks for the any updates that are available and from here you can check for the firmware information 
so it's being loaded right now you see and this is the updates no updates available as of now and uh, yeah it's pretty similar to other if you have used any other linux distributions on the difference is the support and the 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 store that i found is pretty good and has watched and you can see all these utilities option so you can check out the storage options and your like video player your ram information and the this is the the firefox browser that is uh, pre-installed in many of the linux you will see and this is the file manager pretty basic and good looking and also it has vlc installed so you can play mtv videos right off the bat so that's also good you have also the all the office that is pretty actually it's very helpful so you have all your libre office uh, preloaded so you can have your office work um, you're ready to go it's pretty good you don't have to install it later it comes with the package and you can see it's working pretty fine the VLC like I've told and also you can like see the how much resources that are being used by your system um, it's pretty lightweight Linux it does not um, use like take up a lot of resources so it's pretty good the user is looking fine better than Windows of course it's a fresh install and it shows you in this graph manner so yeah that was pop os and i hope you like this one and don't forget to like this video and i'll see you in the next one